well, guess what? It's time for jewelry wishing. Darn it. All right. So I kind of want Chiori. Um, but no, we're actually not going to go for Chiori this video. Uh, my goal is to get C2 Silentman. Or I don't know why I just pronounced her name that way. I've never pronounced her name that way before. But Shilinen, Zhilinen, Shilinen, I, 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 I don't Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, my brain will figure out eventually. Uh, I got a couple Genesis Crystals in case you didn't notice here. So yeah, we're going to see if $300 gets me C2 Shilonen. This is 34,240 Genesis Crystals because of the top of bonuses that I had. I didn't use them in the last patch. That is about 215 wishes, so that is the full top of bonus plus one extra 6480 top up. Two of these are sponsored thanks to Pymos Bargains, the other one I bought myself. Uh, we'll talk more about them later, but thanks to them because you know I probably wouldn't be able to do this stupid crap if I didn't you know have them supporting my videos. But yeah, we're gonna see if we get C2 Shilin in, in, in 300 pulls, uh, or, or not 300 pulls, in 215 pulls. Uh, I do have some extra Primo Gems, but I do actually want Chiori. I would like to have save these Primo Gems for Chiori, but the priority is going to be C2 Shilonen. The average player should not bother with Constellations. They're like bait, and same thing with like weapons. They're just bait 99% of the time, right? Save your wishes for like Marvel Week, uh, whatever future characters is generally speaking the smarter option. I want to emphasize that. I'm going to go for it because it's really fun. Um, I will talk about why I think it's going to be really fun and why I want it. it. I might regret it in the future. I don't know, right? But uh, screw it. I don't know. It, 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 it's the concept of the video. We're spending a bunch of rents and Primo Gems. So worst case scenario, though, we have almost 50,000 Primo Gems. With my Primo Gem savings, uh, you know, that's probably enough to maybe guarantee it. We'll see. When you're doing that many wishes, it's generally speaking, you should get an early at some point. We're probably not going for a weapon either. I'll, I might talk about her weapon and like the value of going for C1 or C2. We're going to just get into the gambas because that's what you're probably here for. Um, I do recommend you stay later for my yapping because I might have some interesting things to say to you, but that's up to you if you're just here for the gamba. We're just going to, we're just going to get straight into it because, you know, I want, I want the leopard lady. And, uh, yeah, by the way, I did a trial and I quite like her animations. Ah, oh, wait, no, I should have... The, the Genesis Crystals, frick, well, whatever, okay. Um, no, it doesn't really matter, right? but um, here, may as well just press max there. Bam, look at that, so many Primo Gems. The magic of video sponsorship. <laughs> Yay. And um, it's been a while since I saw an early character on my main account. I've seen early characters from my Polar only account. And uh, yeah, we're at like 34 pity. I guess I should check exactly. I did the 10 pull and Chiori banner. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I was exactly correct. This is 44. And, yeah, anyways, I don't know. Earlys would be nice because earlies, like, earlies are what can make it actually possible to get things like C2s, like, you, in a not horrifying amount of wishes. Um, it is worth mentioning, by the way, that you can definitely save enough Prima Gems to get a C2 of, like, characters of these, like, relevant supportive constellations um, without spending money. I have C2 Freena and I didn't spend money. I didn't do $300 of freaking tapas for C2 Freena. I just didn't wish for many months, <laughs> right? So anyways, our first one is going to be a pity, it seems like, so that's fine. Oh god, man, I don't like spending money <laughs> in these games. It just like leaves me on edge. It just like, it, it just makes me feel ugh, a little bit, uh, particularly when things go poorly. It just makes me feel bad. Hey, it's a Sucrose, one of the best characters in the game um, that for some reason not many people actually use, but anyways. Uh, I think this might be pity? Question mark? Yes. Or very close to it. Please win a 50-50. That would be a very nice start. Hello, Kali. Um, the four stars in the banner are interesting. And, um, yeah, the four stars in the banner are interesting. Let's see. Yes! All right, all right. Good, good start. Shalonen. That's how you pronounce it. For you, just, uh, let me know. But, uh, I do have quite the backlog of commissions at the moment, so even if you submit a request now, it might be a while before I get to it. Good to know. Thank you, Shalonen. Alright, th now that I've heard it in game, hopefully my brain will properly, like, Shalonen. That's how you pronounce the name. Hello, lady. Glad to see you. Glad we won a 50-50. So that is about 60 wishes of the 200. I should probably keep track, but basically we're gonna do 150 more wishes is, is the thing. So hopefully I'll keep track of this properly, but, you know, um, that, that makes, like, winning that first 50-50 is a really big, important first step of actually making C2 a reality. I really, 
really do not want to have to spend every Prima Gem just for Shalon NC2. Again, I want I want Chiori because I don't know why I'm clicking through. I want Chiori because I think she's a lot more interesting of a character now. Uh, I might talk about that more later. We'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, the, I want Chiori because I think Kachina actually makes her a more interesting character, and I, I don't want to have like more Geo units to like play around with double Geo cores. Uh, so they're at like 23 pity or something. 33. No earlies. Oh well. I mean, look, if we win, uh, by the way, Candace C6. A Lakino. Wink, wink. Uh, hopefully a lot more people will get Candace C6 and will appreciate her a little bit more uh, with his banner. But anyways, 40 something. And uh, a Rust. How wonderful. Well, but anyways, pity. The pity five stars is fine. Is if if we win all the fifty fifties, it's fine. We don't need earlies. We just need to win fifty fifties. As long as we get lucky in some way, that's what enables getting things like C two. Um, will that actually happen? Oh, that might be slightly early. Okay, please. If we won win this fifty fifty. Hello, Dory. Oh, speaking of, I would actually like to get Dory C six. She's the one character in this banner I don't have C six. Well, I don't have Shilono and I. Well, I also don't have Shilono in C six, obviously. Yet. Link. Uh, no, I'm, j I'm joking. We're not doing that. Uh, but we are winning a 50-50. Yes! Oh, okay. All right, the, all right, the dream for C2 not costing $500 is real. Yay, because that's how much you can cost sometimes. Yay. I love I love how expensive top is in this game. It just makes things feel great. But also, there is sometimes gambling, you know, dopamine when you get lucky. Can we win three 50-50s? We'll see. I know when I get down to like 14,000 Primo Gems, that'll be all the all the wishes that I allocated for Shalonen. So, um, yes, winning two 50 is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and is that Dory? Yeah, that's Dory C6. Sick. Uh, Dory C6 is interesting as a on-field option with Farina in particular. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build her in the next... Su wow, Shabrus, you're on the wrong banner, but that's a cool What I already got you C6, but we'll take it. Um, what was it saying? Oh yeah, Dory, interesting with with uh, Farina, which, you know, because she does team wide healing, she does like a infusion on her own herself. It lets you use Dory as like a weird on-field like Hyper Bloom driver, while also buffing, the, helping buff the team and whatever. I like the idea of Dory C6, you know, that's kind of all it is. Hello Dory, C20. Um, I'm glad I have it. Uh, yep. All right. I haven't been keeping track because I got distracted yapping about Dory. Um, I think we're going to pity though, and that is fine. We are fine with going to pity if we win the 50-50. You know, we kind of definitely, since we haven't got that, that C1 might have been early. Might have been like, sl but it was like slightly early, right? It was not a very early, early. And, um, but it's fine because we won 50-50s, but... To be able to actually get C2 in $300, which is still a lot of money, man. <laughs> like, that's still a lot of money. Like, that, that's not, a, like, like, please spend responsibly. If you're, like, if you want to spend money, it's your money. Do what you want, right? But, like, this is just a video game. It's very easy to have fun in this video game without doing this. But there are fun things that the kind of player I am and I want to make content, you know, I, I want her C2 because it can enable me to have more fun in this video game. Um, and I hope the game is nice to me. Right, but uh, we'll see. It would be cool, and you know, you know, Mahoyo, you know, this is to your advantage. I'm making a video, this is to your advantage, Mahoyo. Just let me win this last 50 50, and you're technically doing a, yourself a service. It would be doing yourself a disservice if I lose this 50 50, because that would mean the answer to this video is no, you don't get that Shilon in. <laughs> I almost said it wrong, you don't get Shilon in C2 in $300 unless we. Win a third 50 50. Oh, yes, all right, that's basically three pities, but winning three 50 50s is perfectly fine as an acceptable result. That is lucky to say the least. Um, you should not expect to get Shalon and C2 in that many polls, quite frankly. I'm very happy I did because that means we can transition to Chiori Banner. I know there's the weapon banner, the reason I don't care about weapon banner that much is because I want Chiori. <laughs> I don't know, th this weapon banner is is good, like this weapon is good. C1, if you only have enough wishes to like either go for C1 or go for weapon banner, 
like, like I'm, I'm, I'm talking enough to guarantee. I, I, I wish to emphasize, weapon banner is no different than it was pre-version 5.0 if you don't have enough wishes to guarantee the weapon, which is about 130 wishes. Uh, but this weapon banner can be pretty good because of the fact that this is actually one of the better generic stat stick weapons uh, for swords in the game, in my opinion. Especially because, you know, Shilonen can enable the, the second condition of doubling the normal attack and skill damage bonus. So it can be like, you know, a really good, you know, option for Freena or Alhatham or whatever. It, it, this, this weapon banner is not that bad because of the fact that both the weapons on it are pretty good. It's a pretty decent weapon. As far as like value for wishes, C1 versus R1, the weapon is more valuable. If you go for like C1, that gets you close to C2. And I think C2 is a heck of a lot more fun than just some damage bonus uh, because of the Electro refund. We'll talk about that more. C1 also is, you know, gets some interruption resistance, which is like, it's not that much interruption resistance, so it's not that significant, but yappity yappity yap. Wishing on character banner could still be more valuable, because like, you know, if the amount of wishes I have would not guarantee a weapon, it would not guarantee another copy of Shalonen. The character banner could be more valuable because of the fact that the guarantees carry over. Yeah, that, a lot of yapping about weapon banner, point is, just tread carefully, use your wishes wisely if you're going to do high investment things. Uh, we're going to try to get Chiori, because I think Chiori could be... Uh, interesting. I, I want to make a video about Chiori. That's ultimately all it is, right? Uh, and I want to have her another Rust. I want to. I'm glad I don't have to wish for four stars for Woods, by the way, because like God, four star wishing is stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. Hello, Candice. Um, I want to. I want to play around with the double Geo team core that like uh, of Chiori and Kachina together. Um, I feel like I got lucky enough in Shalonen that ooh, the Bell. Um, that I, I, I can't possibly win another 50-50, right? But we're going to at least see a 5-star. So there's that. I don't love that I'm using like all of my Primo Gems with this, by the way. But it's fine because I, I, I can afford doing... I can afford being inefficient with my wishes, right? My wishing decisions are affected by me making videos for you. Thank you for watching and liking and subscribing to support me being able to make terrible, terrible decisions. <laughs> um... I don't think Chiori is the most valuable character in the game or anything, but I think the fact that Kachina exists now as a damage buffer um, and enabler for her to have her tool doll mode because she requires a construct at C0. Like, I, I think she's a more compelling character than she was to more players than before, but she's still probably a character you only really need to get. Another Chevrus? What? I could have technically not wished for Chevrus. I had Chevrus C4 on the previous banner, and I wished specifically for Chevrus copies, and it took... Okay, that's weird. That's very unlikely <laughs> to get two of the specific... Whatever. Um, yeah, hey, let's see if we win a Chiori. Um, I like Chiori's design a lot, by the way. That is actually part of the reason, to be completely honest. I think she's just very aesthetically pleasing. And it would be nice to have her. I am Chiori, the and I have her. Sway? Smoking, drinking, and causing a ruckus are all strictly prohibited within the boutique. That whole the yes. customer is king concept doesn't fly here. Oh, and even when Royal I agree. The shop, As someone who's worked retail, I agree. <laughs> they'll find themselves being tossed out and kissing the pavement just like anyone else. Oh, suddenly I like Chiori even more. All right, sick. Um, yeah. So, anyways, you might say, "Oh, go for Chiori Z1." Um, no, probably not. Unless, well, okay, maybe asterisk. Maybe if I really, really, really end up enjoying her. Because it would be nice to, you know, have her be a more compelling off-field unit for, like, pairing with Shalonen, right? But I'm most interested in the, the low investment potential of, like, using Harbinger of Dawn on her, not the the high investment potential. So, anyways, I definitely didn't pre-farm for her because I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to get her or not, and I'm very happy. Uh, this has been a very lucky video. Don't expect $300 to guarantee you C2 Shalonen, but in this case, yes. $300 did get me C2 Shalonen. I'm I'm glad I got lucky in this case. Uh, it it would have hurt, especially since I wanted Chiori. It would have hurt <laughs> to to uh, not get lucky there. And um, yeah, that that's very good. I don't think I've ever won that many 50/50s in a row. Quite frankly, I I think that's my largest streak. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to do a lot of farming. Oh boy. Alrighty, real quick, we gotta thank Paimon's Bargains for enabling me to get C2 Shalonen, and, you know, it, it, it would be... I, I probably would not make money on this video if they didn't sponsor these, so... Uh, truly, thank you to them for sponsoring this. You should check them out, because uh, basically they're a service. I'm just gonna try to explain them in a really simple way. They, they use the fact that Mahoyo prices uh, their top-ups differently in different regions of the world. 
to allow you to pay them to buy Genesis crystals for you so you can save a percentage on them. How much you will save is going to be dependent on like how your currency converts to Malaysian ringgits, MYR. The pricing for a 6480 top up is 365 MYR. Right now that is about I think $85 USD. And when you factor in taxes, it means like I saved about 20% on the top up that I bought through Pine Month's Bargains for this video. They can provide receipts on request. They only need your UID, by the way, because they just use Kodashop, just like you could use Kodashop, an official service for getting Prima Gems. But they have the ability to have like extra discounts through uh, payment systems available only in that country uh, that you don't have access to, which gets, lets them you know sell these to you for even cheaper. The one downside is there is a little bit of a processing time for them to actually be able to fulfill your order, especially when there's a new banner out for, for a gotcha. The, the, this is a small operation where it's just individual people fulfilling orders. It's not like bots automatically fulfilling orders for you. Yeah, link will be uh, in a pinned comment below the video. Uh, feel free to check them out. You can check out like the store vouch tab to see you know how people can can vouch for like them being legitimate. I've used them multiple times. They're pretty cool and they're chill to work with. I, I could actually get more money for these sponsorships from from other companies. But I don't because I like Paimon's Bargains. <laughs> so I like what they got going. Thanks again to Paimon's Bargains. I do have better weapon options available than Harbinger of Dawn for Chiori. Like I could give her my Jade Cutter and I might end up doing that. But again, like I, one of the things I really like about Chiori is how compelling she can be on a Harbinger of Dawn build. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And I got a pretty good four piece Golden Troop build going. It's it's not bad. Uh, she sends with crit rate, so she'll get more crit rate, and of course the crit rate from the Harbinger of Dawn passive. All right, and this is my Fav support build on Shalonan. I do have a DPS build available for her that I will be making a video about probably this week, so you can get subscribed if you want to see. Uh, I plan I plan on doing DPS um, things with Kachita and Shalonan. Now that I have Shalonan. Obviously, I'll probably make a video about C2. That one might take a little bit longer, but uh, my generic build, I think, is going to be a healing focus build, j just so that I have the ability to have like a universal build that can always burst consistently if need and always has extra healing if I want the extra healing, right? You, you don't really need to spec her into damage meaningfully for her support a build, although I technically could. I could, with how much crit rate subsets I have, I could probably technically swap her onto a crit damage circlet and see some decent damage numbers from her. I prefer the healing option. Now, I want to talk about her C2 real quick. I don't care really about the Geo buff, the Pyro buff, the Hydra buff, or the Cryo buff. To be clear, those are nice and like I'll, I will have fun with them. Like, And C2 also enables her to be a buffer for Mono Geo. I don't even have C6 Goro, so you know, I don't know, somehow you know it was easier for me to get a C2 Shalonan than a C6 Goro. Because that's how 4 stars be in this game, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, right, so, so her C2, I care about it specifically because of the Electro buff. Um, there, there are some nuance to this buff, I'm not going to get into the details right now because I'm going to have to test it. I, you can check out a live stream that I'll probably be doing the same day. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to like link it below the video maybe. Responding 25 energy and decreasing burst cooldown on electro units. How useful that is is going to really depend on the exact team because it only refunds and burst cooldown and, and energy on electro units. It means you can do weird things like potentially do a second ride and burst right in only 12 seconds after. I, I think there's shenanigans. I'm going to mess around with it. I don't want to get super in depth, but like I, I, looking at like all the electro characters in the game, which I don't have all the electro characters in the game, you know, I, I can foresee doing things like, for example, the reason I had this team active, I want to do double bursts per rotation. So Kuki has a 15 second burst cooldown, two bursts per rotation Kuki. Think about it for a second. She has an HP scaling burst, 82% of her HP scaling, right? And I can do things like using my key of Kaja suit and Kuki drains her health and then regains her own health. I could do four piece Mar, I should say hunters. And it's going to take a little bit of nuance to try to get the high multiplier hits. I think you get the point, right? Like, double burst per rotation Kuki? Like a burst DPS? Like, what? Like, I don't know. That seems super fun, right? It's 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 exactly the kind of thing I wanted it for because there's weird shenanigans, like, all over the place you can do with a burst cooldown reduction. And there's abuse I think you can get for it because of the fact that Shalonen has a short skill cooldown of 7 seconds, and the trigger condition of this C2 says that it refunds energy when her source samples activate, which is based on just pressing her skill and then doing a couple normal attacks that activates her samples. So this is a 6 second cooldown reduction 25 energy refund that I believe the way it's worded means- I'm gonna have to test this. I'm not 100% confident it will work like this because maybe there's some secret cooldown that Mahoyo is restricting us from using it this way. You might be able to get a 6 second burst cooldown and 25 energy refund every 7 seconds in teams that are like free to rotate between different characters. And that's ridiculous. Like that's actually ridiculous. It's bonkers fun to me and it makes it worth going for for me because of the kind of player I am. 
don't be baited by constellations. They're not necessary to make the character useful. But I will say that I kind of wish her C2, because of how fun I think the C2 is going to be, I wish her res shred in her skill, right? Like, res shred is great, obviously. Um, but I wish her res shred was her C2, and then I wish her C2 was in her base kit. That's that's my current vibe. I think she would be a much more fun, interesting character to baseline, and then I wouldn't care about her C2 at all <laughs> if it was in a base kit, because it's what I think is most fun about her. Rare instance of a, a rare ability that can that can reduce skill cooldown. Sp sorry, burst cooldown. That's that's I, like, I, I just love it to keep things simple. I just love the idea of doing that. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So yep, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe. I plan on doing like all kinds of videos with this character in the future. Uh, messing around with C two, of course. Messing around with DPSing her because one of the cool aspects of her is you don't have to just do a supportive playstyle, right? You can do a you can do a plungy playstyle, right? And uh, there, there's, there's, I, I really, really appreciate that they gave this character the ability to, you know, she is a support character, but she has a, an ability to be a, your on-field DPS uh, if you want to choose to play her that way. You're, you're not playing her for her supportive utility if you're doing that. It's, it's an either-or situation. It's not a both. But it's very cool that they're adding that modality because, like, that just makes characters more fun. So, anyways, feel free to subscribe if you actually want to see me play this video game rather than uh, gambling, believe it or not.